Hey everybody, how's it going? We are here with a timeless reading. Welcome to the channel. The first card that we have out, Two of Pentacles. I'm also seeing Four of Cups on the bottom of the deck. Okay. Two of Pentacles, King of Swords. You may be figuring out how to say something. So, something you want to say, figuring out how to do that. This can be within a new thing that you're involved in. Or like part of a new chapter for you. Yeah, okay. This is you sort of weighing your options, trying to figure something out here. This can also be prioritizing communication. So this is you trying to figure out like, do I say this? Do I say that? Like, what do I do here? And I'm seeing this have to do with communication. So you're figuring something out, what it is that you have to say. And then once you do, you'll be able to send that message. Member energies can be reversed. You can be receiving a message. If you are receiving a message, if you're waiting on a message, this is what they're currently doing in this moment. Somebody could have been holding back their feelings about something too. Or you could have felt like somebody was holding back feelings, but it was because they were trying to figure out what to say, that's why. seeing one thing ending and then I'm seeing a new beginning so we have there's a chapter that's closing that's like a done deal and right after that coming to a close I'm seeing that there's a new chapter right there opening up so it feels like it's a conversation about that about like endings and beginnings so yeah if if some of you were waiting to have a conversation with this person. They're going to be coming through and you guys are gonna be chatting. They could also be telling you, if you're on the receiving end, they could also be telling you how they ended something in order to like have a new chapter. That can also be what this is about too. So new chapter starts and I'm seeing things get off to like a jump start even it seems like. So Ace of Pentacles is here. This can be being offered to you and I'm seeing Eight of Wands. So this is like we just opened the chapter and I'm already on page 50, you know, like it can move very, very quickly. So instead of this being like maybe a more gradual new chapter you feel like it's moving at an accelerated pace yeah some of you this person wanted to offer you a new chapter wanted to say like hey i want that new chapter with you but they were just they had to figure out some stuff and they needed to take care of some other things as well is what i'm seeing Yeah, I'm getting like a lot of big changes, but I'm also seeing to this Ace of Cups here as well. So Ace of Pentacles. We start off with a new chapter, Eight of Wands. We're moving very, very quickly into the Ten of Pentacles. So that can be too like I put a penny into the slot machine and I got a thousand bucks back out of it. It's something like this where you see how quickly it moves to the 10 of pentacles. Like going from an ace to a 10, you're like skipping all of the pentacle steps in between. So I'm seeing just something immediately. It's like you take one step and you win the whole race. It's something like that. This is like an absurdly quick energy to have it move that way.
Like something works really well here is what I'm seeing. I'm also seeing too the death card, which can mean that um, there's like, there are changes that are happening that's associated with whatever this chapter was that was coming to an end. And I'm seeing it be like, if somebody decided to go through this change, they'd be offered the Ace of Cups, which is about a connection. So that could have been what someone was sort of in between trying to figure out here. It's like they were weighing their options to see what to do, but one thing may have needed to end in order for this to be possible, because I'm seeing somebody be like, Ace of Cups, a connection, that's something that I want to invest in. So it seems like somebody here is making up their mind, but they knew that they knew that something that um, something that was going on before for them had to had to change form in some way, but it was worth it to them. So I'm seeing somebody be like, "I will surrender this in order to have the Ace of Cups." So they're surrendering something in order to have the Ace of Cups because they know that on the inside, that's what's really going to make them happy. Like that's really what's going to be fulfilling to them. And that's really what matters to them at the end of the day. At times they may feel though a bit unsure of this, a bit guarded maybe. Can be because of all of the movement of things. Ooh. So this new beginning with the Ten of Cups, so it's like a new connection. I'm doing that because it's like actually not. It's a renewal of a connection. You know this person. So this, this connection here, which is like on a deep emotional level connecting with someone and being like, wow, I feel so happy. Like this is really right for me. Six of Cups, this is with somebody that you know. So this is not with a stranger. So it can be like bringing something back to life here. I'm seeing things feel very sweet and very nostalgic as well. It can also be reminiscent of like good times for you too. Very good times. These would be times that you would be very fond of. Wow. Okay, look, check this out. I'm seeing somebody deeply emotionally that you care about. These two people here. Things have changed because we have the death card, right? So this means like going through a very big transition, what was going on before, you guys are in a different spot now, right? Or at least somebody is in order to make this happen. But somebody had to let go of certain things, maybe material things may have been something stability wise for them, could have been a home situation, could have been a financial situation, whatever it was, somebody basically like Scorpio came up to this person the Scorpio in this person's chart and was like if you're willing to surrender that I'll give you the ace of cups and this person was like take it from me right now I want the ace of cups so now there's this opportunity to connect with this person ten of cups I couldn't be any happier with this this is like my pursuit of happiness here ten of cups is maximum happy like this couldn't be a better situation Six of Cups. This is super nostalgic and beautiful. And I'm having a really good time. And having Two of Cups, it's all cups here. This is somebody where you're like, this person feels like, like my best friend. I really connect with them. It really feels like the good times. And I'm also seeing three of pentacles. So that means we're like working together on whatever this is. To have an ace, I don't know what the nature of this relationship is. This can be like, it can be a sibling that you're reconnecting with. It can be an old friend you're connecting with. It can be a romantic partner that you're connecting with. But having the ace here, it says like you guys have, 
you have an emotional connection with one another. And in Ace is a lot of potential for, and now you guys can explore that. Ten of Cups is somebody being like, this couldn't be better. This is like the best that there can be. So this is somebody knowing that this is like the ultimate Ace of Cups for them. I'm seeing it be very, very nostalgic. So more than likely you already know this person. I'm not seeing this be a new person, but it will feel like a renewal. So this will feel like very different because we have the death card too preceding this. This will feel very different than whatever was going on in the past between you and this person. And having two of cups here, it's like you feel like this person really knows you. You can feel like this person is a past life soulmate. And to have three of pentacles, it means you guys are both showing up and saying, hey, I'm willing to work on this. I want to work together. So I'm seeing somebody at this point trying to sort of like maneuver through figuring that out. So that's what's happening. Oh, I'm seeing only Scorpio here. Okay, so reading for Scorpio. That's what's going on. So yeah, I'm seeing whoever this person is that you're working with, there's a really deep emotional connection between you guys. And I'm seeing like a lot of chemistry. This is just somebody that, you know when you meet certain people and you're like, you just get me. Like you just understand. You feel like you don't have to over explain stuff. There's just a vibe, you know? That's like the ultimate connection that you have with somebody. And it's really great to see this too, because this means that like, yes, we have chemistry naturally with one another, but this means like we're willing to cooperate with one another and work on the connection. So you take like the raw chemistry of what you have organically there and you intentionally are like manifesting and collaborating and working together with one another to build off of that. So this is going to be super significant, we can say. But I am seeing a lot has changed since whatever was going on before. So things feel very different. It feels like different coming back together with this person now. All right, my friends, we are going to leave the reading here. I would like to thank everyone for connecting. Thank you for tuning in. I am sending everybody love and I hope to catch you guys next time.